Chilton Flight Systems is pleased to introduce the HeliSAS Helicopter Autopilot and Stability Augmentation System. The HeliSAS improves utility and operational safety by providing stability augmentation at a cost that is affordable and without a significant weight penalty. Chilton's engineers have been assisting the U.S. Army with improvements to helicopter handling qualities via enhanced stability augmentation systems for over 14 years. The HeliSAS brings this technology developed for military rotorcraft to civil helicopters. The system is currently undergoing FAA Supplemental Type Certificate or STC approval for all Robinson R-44 helicopters equipped with hydraulic flight controls. The technology is scalable and plans are to certify the system on other light helicopters once the initial approval is complete. Large and complex turbine helicopters are typically equipped with stability augmentation systems or autopilots to provide workload relief for the pilot. Traditionally, stability augmentation and autopilots have not gained widespread acceptance in light and medium civil helicopters due to high cost, installation complexity, and the weight penalty. The HeliSAS evolved from a perceived need to provide workload relief for pilots of light and medium helicopters at an affordable cost and minimal weight penalty. The pilot of this HeliSAS equipped R-44 has been flying for some time with hands off the cyclic in light to moderate turbulence, a feat that is impossible without stability augmentation. The HeliSAS has been initially developed for the Robinson R-44 because it's the world's best-selling helicopter. It is used successfully throughout the world in a variety of roles ranging from private transportation to police work and firefighting. Like all helicopters, the R-44 is unstable in the pitch and roll axes in all flight conditions. This means that the pilot must make continuous small corrections to keep the helicopter from diverging to dangerous flight attitudes. This is especially true in the presence of atmospheric disturbances, even light turbulence, as illustrated here for hover. This video clip further illustrates the point. Here the pilot has simply released the cyclic stick. In this example, there is more weight on the right side of the helicopter because the pilot is heavier than the photographer. As a result, the helicopter rolls off to the right as soon as the cyclic is released. Even if the load is symmetrical and the controls are perfectly balanced, the helicopter attitude will diverge following even the smallest input, such as due to a gust of wind or leaning forward to tune a radio. Now, compare this with the HeliSAS engaged. Here the R-44 continues on a straight and level course, even though the pilot's hand is off the cyclic stick. This is because the HeliSAS is an attitude stabilization system and therefore holds the trim attitude indefinitely. It doesn't care how the helicopter is loaded, which way the crew or passengers are leaning, or if there is turbulence. In fact, there was continuous light to moderate turbulence when this video was made. Note that the cyclic stick is making continuous small corrections to hold the helicopter level as it flies through this turbulence. To make a heading change, the pilot simply holds a small lateral force on the cyclic until the desired heading is achieved. Simply letting go causes the helicopter to roll out on the new heading. It's also possible to make a small heading change using only the pedals. In this case, a small left pedal input causes the helicopter to side slip and turn left. With hands off the controls, the basic HeliSAS attitude augmentation holds heading and altitude quite well, even in the light to moderate turbulence that is being encountered. For those who desire even further workload relief, a full HeliSAS autopilot is available. The autopilot option provides altitude hold, heading hold, and will track GPS courses as well as VOR and localizer courses. A building block approach is offered so that the basic HeliSAS can be installed and the autopilot functions added at a later time with only minor modifications. The HeliSAS provides shaped force feedback to the pilot through the cyclic stick. This function is normally found on large commercial and military helicopters where it is referred to as a force field system. The ability to provide such a system at a cost and weight that are practical for light helicopters represents an engineering breakthrough and a patent is pending on this feature of the HeliSAS. It is well known that stick force stability is an enhancing feature for aircraft control, which explains why most commercial helicopters employ force field systems. It is therefore not surprising that with the HeliSAS engaged, the R-44 feels like a much larger, more stable helicopter, especially in turbulence. The HeliSAS force field system provides positive but light resistance to pilot cyclic inputs. 
This resisting force increases as the cyclic is moved away from the trimmed position to a maximum force of 5 pounds in pitch and 3 pounds in roll. Holding the stick lightly in your hand, you will feel it making small movements to provide attitude stability. In addition to making the R44 feel more stable, the Helisass force field system resists inadvertent inputs which can significantly enhance safety. For example, with the system engaged, the tendency for an inadvertent pushover maneuver to low G is resisted by stick force feedback on the cyclic. With the Helisass engaged, the only way to accomplish a low G pushover would be for the pilot to hold a constant 5 pounds of forward pressure on the cyclic stick. Without the Helisass engaged, there is no resistance to a pushover since the stick force gradient is zero. This, combined with unstable dynamics, gives the R44 a light and agile response. In some situations, such a response can be desirable to certain pilots, especially those with a lot of experience in the R-44 or similar aircraft. These characteristics are, of course, still available with a Helisass-equipped helicopter by simply turning the system off. However, if the R-44 is equipped with the Helisass, it should be engaged when flying at night and or in conditions of poor visibility or if performing other cockpit duties, such as setting up the GPS or folding a chart. The most important consideration is that loss of control is highly likely in the event that outside visual references are lost, even for a very short period of time. Weather is a leading cause of accidents in VFR helicopters. The need to maintain outside visual references is emphasized in two separate safety notices that are included in the R-44 Pilot's Operating Handbook. Both of these notices warn that the loss of outside visual references, even for a short time, can result in loss of control and a crash. They further note that this is because helicopters have less inherent stability and a much more rapid response to control inputs than airplanes. One of these safety notices emphasizes that the problem is worse at night. The wisdom of the advice in these safety notices is clearly demonstrated by the hands-off response of our test helicopter with the Helisass disengaged, as shown here. Fully 22% of Robinson accidents are attributed to bad weather, and the accident statistics show that these are not confined to low-time pilots or lack of gyro instrumentation. Even experienced pilots with instrument-flying background helicopters equipped with an attitude gyro have been involved in fatal weather accidents. With the Helisass engaged, the R-44 will return to level flight even after being disturbed as shown here. In this example, we bank 60 degrees and release the controls. The Helisass smoothly returns the aircraft to a zero bank angle. Flight testing has shown that the Helisass will recover from bank angles as large as 90 degrees. Here, the pitch attitude is increased to 25 degrees and the controls released whereupon the R-44 gently pitches back to the trim pitch attitude. With the Helisass engaged, the pilot action in the event of inadvertent IMC is to simply let go of the controls. In fact, it would take significant pilot effort to force the aircraft into an out-of-control situation with the Helisass engaged. Once the helicopter is in a level attitude, the pilot can simply hold a constant lateral force on the cyclic to accomplish a turn out of the weather, as illustrated here. An alternate strategy would be to leave the cyclic alone and use collective to climb or descend out of the weather. In this illustration, we accomplish a climb from 2,500 to 3,000 feet by simply adjusting the power with the collective and without touching the cyclic stick. Operation of the Helisass is very straightforward. As long as the dedicated SAS circuit breaker is pushed in, the Helisass is available for use. A Helisass on-off and annunciator button is located on the instrument panel as shown here. As long as this button is illuminated, the SAS is available for use. As shown here, the SAS is ready for operation, but is selected off. The Helisass may be engaged at any time by simply pushing the button and noting that the annunciation changes from a white off to a green on indication. The Helisass may be disengaged at any time by pushing the same button as shown here. R44s equipped with the Helisass incorporate two extra buttons on top of the cyclic stick in addition to the usual channel select and frequency swap buttons. The new button located in the lower right corner is labeled